But the thing is, Monk is about the song. So that's the challenge when we play Monk tunes, is not to go into just playing the changes of the tune and playing scales. You're playing, you're running, it's almost like you're running the chords like you're afraid you're going to forget what the chords are. Don't worry, you're not going to forget the chords. You don't have to run up and down each chord to say, okay, here's you, and here's you, and here's you, and I'm giving you all the same. You know, it's not like that. They're not children. You know, you can ignore some of them. You know what I mean? You can just blow, blow some off and take really good care of other ones. You know, not what you want to do if you have kids, you know. It's not cool. So, they're not like that, you know. They're not just like, let me just give all, all everybody the same treatment, you know. So it's about, because the song doesn't create all the chords. The song is a melody that goes underneath the chords. So if you can make your, your improvisation about the melody as much as it is about the chords, you will be playing the chords too, because this, this isn't making the changes. I don't know what it is. Straight, it's the changes. So I'm not saying you have to play that on your solo, but what about coming from that? What about just the dealing with the sound of the 11? Dumbest thing, don't be afraid to play something that's dumb. If it's in the interest of, well, I'm really trying to keep myself honest in terms of, am I playing from the song or am I just blowing some shit on chromatic two fives, you know? I don't even want to hear the next one because I know what's coming. That's not, you know what I mean? That's teaching yourself to improvise like a computer. And you don't want to. We don't want to be that. You know, get inside the sound of the tone. You know, that's very clear, very obvious. So out when you go to play, you don't have to be that obvious. But try being that obvious sometimes. See what happens. Can you be obvious? Can you play something really simple, you know, and, and make the melody, you know, this is, you know, so how, can you play something that is in the changes, but also about that? really effective. The first time, it's a little bit, you know, diatonic, you know, pleasant, you know. Now, it's getting a little more intense because we're using some, some dissonance, it doesn't sound pleasant to us now, but it's a little bit, oh, that's not the same way of approaching something as simple as that. 
make that be what you're playing off of in that spot. And you can play 20 million different things that are going to show that difference. Because it's just the one note. You can play the same thing, just change the one note. See this note? That's what you're going from that, and that's playing the song. That's playing the idea of the song. That's what the song is giving us to to work from. So why throw that away? That's what's unique about the bridge of "Ask Me Now" to me. You know, that's what's unique about a bridge that's just a two-five-one twice for the same key. Well, you're missing the subtle detail that the first time it's augmented nine seven, the second time it's augmented flat nine sharp nine. That's it. So that's your, that's the idea, you know, that you're using when you play, you know. So there you go. You can play anything and just fit it into that. Try to change, you know. Thank you. 